My name is Flávio Oliveira. I come from Brazil. I'm 29 years old. I'm passionate about communication. I have been studied for more than 10 years. I have two bachelor's degrees in social communication, one in publicity and propaganda, and another one in public relations. Event management and communication through events is definitely two of my main activities, especially at the moment that I also work with an international event. I'm a very curious guy. Then when I first saw the website of the World Communication Forum, uh, I thought I, I have to, to be part of this event, of this project. The World Communication Forum aims to gather the new elite, the new digital elite from around the world. Uh, that is all the creative leaders, the communication directors, uh, the uh, communication executives from the significant players around the world from different industries. As communications professionals, one of the most important things is to be connected, to network, to know people not only from your industry but from virtually any industry in the world. We're so much into communication because it's art, it's life, it's fun, and it's our job. Speak to the world. I am the PR manager and media relations manager for Brazil. And now I'm very happy to say that we have seven partners in Brazil for the 2013 edition. I hope that is just the start of my career with Global Communications. My main aim within the Communication Forum is really to be involved in part of this project because it's really a passion of mine to, to see the global communications developing and if I can be part of it, I'll be very happy. MIC has opened doors for me, definitely. It really taught me how to interact with different cultures. That was essential, working in, in an event that was that had its staff coming from Bulgaria and Russia that were totally different cultures from mine. And one of the first steps in the mass international communication is really intercultural competency. Not only the disciplines that we have to study, the modules that we have to study, but uh, everything that comes with it. You know, I used to study in a, in a class of 13 people coming from 11 different countries. Just being part of the master is already something to celebrate because you'll be involved with people from literally all around the world. Participating in the MIC, uh, being a student at the Mass International Communication, has changed all my life, definitely. I think the most important thing is the paradigm or the variety of paradigm that I have absorbed, absorbed in the last uh, 15 months of my life, since I, I got involved with the MIC. Uh, it changed my perspective of the world. I, do, I, do, I did know already that we had many different ways of seeing life, but now I understand that we have an infinite ways of seeing life that we have to be always with an open mind and accept more other people because each one has a, its own view of the world and we will behave and act accordingly to that. Then they yeah, are to respect others and and all of the, all of this came came naturally from the involvement with the mass international communication. Because of the disciplines, because of the modules, because of the books you read, because of the conversations in the corridors. In the beginning, to leave my country, my zone of comfort, where I had many, many friends, where I had a total independence. Then I came to the Netherlands to share a, a shower with 20 people and a kitchen with 20 people. It's really gratifying, it's really enriching this experience of really overcoming these obstacles, overcoming these, different, these difficulties. But these difficulties are definitely part of the process, part of the game, and this journey is really fantastic. We have to go after our dreams, to believe in ourselves, and as a consequence, many good things will come. You develop yourself professionally, academically, and most of all, and most important, personally. Then I feel a better human being today, I would say. Yeah.